Hey there, everyone. This is Al Calvin, WarioWare Inc. Uh, going through the grid. There are two grids left when you really think about it. We're almost done. Uh, which is a bit shocking to me. So yeah, last time we finished IQ, which I, I've said this a lot, but you know, it's not that they're bad, it's just, it's two good ideas that don't fit together. The grid and IQ. But yeah, real, genre reality. I am the one, the only, Dr. Krygor. Scholars like me disprove of falsehoods, so I cannot cope with unrealistic games. Demo, you know the difference, don't you? I should hope so. I remember cat game. I remember a cat game. And I remember some of- man, tomorrow's gonna have two games I struggled a lot with. But not today, so yeah, so this is just a potpourri of like a whole bunch of nonsense. Banana Munch! 25 points! In just the banana that's floating in the sky. Do this quickly. Yeah, we're starting with button mashing. Alright, whoa, I'm eating. See, this is realistic. This is something a scientist can understand without too much trouble. So I'm gonna be real. If it looks like this is gonna be a monkey situation, since this is literally the first game I'm playing today, I'm probably just going to lose on purpose. Like, I don't like to do that, but... Um, I kind of don't want to just drain my energy for the rest of the session, if possible. Because, yeah, all, all I'm doing is mashing. It's trivial. And, I mean, that's what, that's what the monkey game was. And, you know, bananas and monkeys do tend to be associated in some way, you know? So you think one, you might think the other. You know, you're going to the zoo, and you know there's like an enclosure with a monkey, and you're like, wow, it's a bunch of bananas. That'd be strange, but it could happen. Sometimes the mind, you know, it makes association between things, and the association is too strong, and the associate takes over, and there we go, everything's going corporate. And what do we do then when that happens? What is the proper reaction? I will say I'm not mashing particularly strenuously. I'm honestly going at it at a pretty casual mash. Um, I'm not being punished for it. <laughs> I am. No, the game is just keeps on trucking on here. We see like glitter of bananas just kind of flying by like that. That's pretty fun. You know, it reminds us that fruits are full of glitter just by default, as is their nature. It is the nature of nature to be glittery. All right, I got 25. I'm I'm not stopping though, but like I said, like I should. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna start to being a lot more lazy with my tapping. Like, I'm not giving up in that I'm just gonna stop doing things entirely. But I'm mashing much slower Lily now. Which is still fine for some versions, some levels. Yeah, it's just level 3. Whoa, uh, huh. I'm a little confused there. Have I subconsciously started mashing faster? Because deep down, deep inside me, I hate losing. Because that is true. I had to re-correct there, because yeah, no, like, this is free, it's free, I, maybe I should have gone till 50, but no, no, it's the first game, we have to go, we have to go, it's berry, is, what, is this game all about fruit, berry, berry, good, the strawberry goes on top, drop it to finish the job, drop 20 points, right, I feel like we've done this exact game a few times, for once, I'm actually checking back on the length instead of just assuming. Oh, check it out. I put a strawberry on top of the cake. It's pretty good. Then the cake size will change. And even style of cake. That's a different kind of cake. That's a triangular cake. Alright, where is this? This is a tiny cake. That's just, that's just, a, that's just two cookies. That is not a cake. I mean, I've seen, like, that style of cookie with, like, a thing. That's just a bad cake, though, with the strawberry, like, on the side. I mean, what oh, it counts! It counts! Yeah! 
Heavyweight lifting. Okay, and that counts. Well, I feel like it helps that you have removed the grassy part of the strawberry because, you know, otherwise it probably would have, like, slid off more. This is kind of stressful. Like, it's a weird shape that you're putting on a weird shape. Like, it just doesn't look very stable to me, to my eyes, and I'm like, oh, oh. Like, yeah, oh, look at that, though. Perfect. If you get a game perfect, you should have a bone. How? That, that strawberry shattered. Was it frozen? <laughs> like, how did that happen? But no, yeah, level three is genuinely kind of hard to aim for. I thought I pressed way too early, and I got, like, right in the middle. I thought it was too early, because by the time I pressed the button... Like, whoa. Whoa, sh this is hard. Can I do it? I need to nail the Chaka guy. I, I nailed the Chaka guy! I did not nail the Chaka guy. That was in no way, in any form, nailing it. But it was physically on top of the cave, so you know what, client's not too difficult. Yeah, I feel like for the Ritz Cracker, you have to press a button before it exists. Chocolates as soon as you see it poking out. No, okay, I think it's about when it starts to poke out. Uh, basically, don't look at the hand, look at the far edge. Oh, that was too early. That was too early and my strawberry shattered the pieces, making me sad. Do lo lo lo, sad strawberry for you and me. Hardcore! 30 points! Use your mandibles to eat this apple. Is that not just smashing again? I demand you hurry! What's with all the mashing? Alright, well, hey, I'm mashing again. Hey, I did it. The, the, the apple core makes it look like Kirby eyes for the hot minute. That's always fun. All right, we're doing this again. <laughs> we're just mashing. It's barely a game. So okay, like I okay. So 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 like part of me was like, all right. So why would you put them in the same row? But here's the thing. I'm just kind of a like I don't think the game like necessarily like organized them by row. That is a construct I made up. I feel like it's more likely that they would organize these games by column. Because, you know, and then you would go by column by column. Like, like that to me feels like the intended organization. So I can't... I feel like I'm not allowed to be surprised or annoyed or anything, really. If it just so happens that game in the same row and, uh being the same. Now, I can, however, sort of have a reaction to the fact that there are games that are clones of each other, period. Like, that's just kind of weird. Like, spread across the various categories, fine, that's okay, but within a same category, I think that's a little bit strange. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, but... We've had that before, too, where we had to, like, gauge the uh, gauge, make sure it's at the top game, like, in the same collection. It's not the first time this happens, but I just think it's weird every time it happens. Maybe it's because they just kind of ran out of ideas, or, you know, like, they they happen to have... Maybe, you know, they, they took the footage of eating a banana and the footage of eating an apple. Except, turns out, they ran out of time or ideas, and, like, maybe they were gonna be in the same game where, like, different difficulties with different fruits. But then, you know, they were like, oh, no, I don't know, we can't really make that happen. That's, that's not gonna happen. And so they split it amongst different games? It's possible. I am slowing down uh, extremely now. My uh, mashing is taking a slight vacation. Very slight. The same thing is happening with Banana. But, uh, because I will not just stop, I just have to put on my limiters instead. In which, I can't force myself to lose. I, I hate, I hate the idea. Like, I'll, I will take a death in a platformer if I can benefit from it. But losing outright, like it's taking a death in order to win afterwards. Oh, just losing like that, I, I, I can't. This is the game with, there's a butt. Funky Fountain, 25 points. 
aim the fountain, spray the object, we won't say what it is. Sploosh. It's another aim the thing. It's the same game as the cake game. Except this time at the bottom, that I'm spraying water at an analogous to uh, what is clearly meant to be something you find between two mounds on one of the extremities of a person's torso. That's that's how I've described that. What is that, 25 points or something? Like, really? Yeah. So, the, the the different levels, they make it where your spray is a lot slower? But man, I don't know, I feel like my spray is kind of really, like, I don't know, large? Like, if you just kind of hit the flower and then you just go back and forth and it's not very slow yet. It's gonna get faster eventually, but yeah, it's just like you let it go back and when in it's forward, it's like eh, eh. Ooh, Okay, see look look there's a ton of that As long as you hit something that's somewhere around it, you're gonna be all right So maybe this is why this game feels relatively simpler than a lot Is that when oh hey, I missed is that the object that I'm controlling is always this whoa that counted Okay, um I think I might have to start concentrating a bit more because I do want to win. Right? Bubble animation. Okay, that count. That matters. It doesn't need to spin hard. It just needs to. Wow, I just missed timing there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, see. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I need. It's when it's going to the left, is the only. Jesus hell, I missed complete. Was it a 20 point game? Please make it a 20 point game. It's 25. Okay, just barely. Yeah, like it doesn't matter if the game is silly in concept. Uh, if the timing is rough, the timing is rough. Yeah, like I didn't. It's weird because at low speed, bidet uh, simulator is pretty easy, but at some point I just could not time it anymore. Scary. That's just you trace along the line, all right? Whoop de doodle. Whoop de doodle. 20 points. It is time to draw, draw a line to the star with the crayon. Do this with all speed. You speak weird, Krygor. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. All right, whoa, we did it. I drew a line from where I started to where I ended. Pretty wild, what a concept. It's textured, it's like nice textured paper too. So, I'm not sure how making it longer makes it harder. It's harder in the sense that, like, uh, because, I mean, I guess you need to figure out where you're going faster. Which is going to matter once we get into higher levels, I guess. But, like, oh boy. What? Okay, no, no, no. Taking a mulligan because it's a high, like, they're all like 20, so mistakes in the early game matter. So yeah, so there that, that one, so yeah, so so the hard version, so yeah, so like straight lines on level one, diagonals on level two, and like distance at level three, so you gotta make sure that you actually hit your mark. That's how they make the difference. Whoop. See here, I'm allowed to go to the wrong spot for like half a second. I'm not going to later. So yeah, so a weird amount of complication comes from that, like the crayon like has an end, right? And so sometimes it kind of looks like that could be the end if you're like looking using your 
you know, like you're focusing on a point with your eye, and you're gonna see things like around it. And uh, yeah, don't get confused by weird things, I guess is what I'm saying. And you gotta make sure you actually hit it, too. Like, it's not just getting close, like, you actually have to connect. That's important. Yeah, there you go. Drawing lines in red. Oh, shoot. See, there I am. Whoa! You don't really have... Like, this is eight uh, angles. Like, I don't think you really have much more diagonal, so... Oh, dude. Really? I touched it, though. Like, I was... Ah! Well, not the spot in the middle. Dude, what? Dude! Okay, but I think this is a 20 points one, though. Dude! It's so weirdly easy to miss, because if you, you're going in diagonal, then you're going to the side. If you don't nail it, you're just gonna miss outright. That's what I've been learning today. Okay, well, one last game. This, this goes a lot faster because the timers are slower and it feels a lot nicer. It feels more natural. Cheeky Monkey, 15 points. Use the basket to catch the apples. The monkey is throwing. This game is simple. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we'll see how it goes. It's 15 points, so, oh, hey. A dead it! We are playing Yoshi's yarn game, Kirby. And it's the one with the uh, monkey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we're also playing Peter Puppy, I guess. Except just the one balance instead of charting throughout the universe. I can see higher speeds of this getting pretty manic. Like, uh, because your bull has a finite speed and monkey is just gonna be chucking apples. And like, we, he, he early on makes it very clear that there's not necessarily going to be any sort of rational order in which he's gonna be throwing these apples. Luckily, however, hit detection on this bull is kind of amazing because that counted as catching that apple. I did not catch that apple, <laughs> sir. Orchard keeper, uh, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's okay to be generous It's just funny. It's just funny when it's blatant Like if it was like a what but that count as a miss though I don't know what happened to that apple it like unraveled what is up? Whoops with the fragility of fruits here. I mean I won anyways. I got a guaranteed 15 So thank you for being a Yes, at this point, I just lost control of the bowl, I feel like. The bowl is just- it's flying, man! The- oh, jeez, yeah, that bowl is flying. But, I got my quota. Flying bowl. Led us to the end. So... My conclusion? Games are a little hard to do at high speed. <laughs> That's nothing new. It's just, I'm seeing a lot of the thumbnails for future games. Yeah, I feel like Reality, Dr. Krager's game, are games that seem simple, but also can be kind of rough in, like, what they expect in terms of timing and precision. And also, there's the two fruit mashing games, which are the exact opposite. 